Hi there. This is Don Jarrett, 40 year old boy genius and head of Dorje Incorporated. Um, I'm going to do the magnet show for you today. There's a lot of people who've been asking about maglev bearings and what they are and what they are. Maglev is a word we made up that comes from magnetic levitation. I'm sure m some of you have played with magnets like these big ceramic ones here. And when you have them lined up, they're attracted to each other. And when you turn them against each other, there's a repulsive force that you can see. And I'll demonstrate it on this rod. It's a little bit easier to see. But they just levitate from each other. And you can even get more magnets in on the act if you get them lined up right. Make sure that's the right side. There we go. Now you see what happens sometimes in these situations where the magnets are given a lot of latitude they can bounce into each other. So when we use them in industrial applications, we try to control them um, by restraining them really heavily. You can see here we got three magnets all hovering with each other. The idea of a maglev bearing is to use this magnetic field property to suspend a load so that there is no weight uh, what we would call an axial load on uh, a mechanical bearing like a ball bearing or a race bearing or a collar bearing. Um, this gives us the very sexy uh, frictionless suspension that you want. The trick with the maglev bearing though is calculating how much these can be compressed by the weight you're going to put on them. Otherwise you'll be doing you'd be pushing them down with, the, with a nut or some other part of the machine and putting that friction that's not here anymore somewhere else. So you've got to do your math really well and figure out where the, the weight load's going to be. Okay? So that's the, uh, the end of the science fair end of it. I'll show you what we did at Dorje for our magnets. Now this is a neodymium magnet. It's uh, a light one compared to the ones that we're using in this machine. Um, only has about 80 pounds of pull. This is a, a very powerful little magnet, but still 80 pounds isn't really enough to really do our job. Uh, these ceramic magnets are also very powerful. These are the kind you usually see in motors, permanent magnet motors. They use, uh, most of them use ceramic magnets, although they're starting to use neodymium, but the motors are very expensive if you get them that way. As you can see, I can't get this magnet anywhere close to our, our actual uh, maglev bearing magnets without having an effect. <laughs> and now my hand's getting crushed. This is the problem with uh, what we had in the shop. We couldn't store them anywhere or anywhere near anything, so we actually put them on this wooden dowel to store them. This is the bottom of the maglev bearing pack for one of our vertical uh, wind turbines. Uh, actually, this is the, the structural stuff for one of the turbines that I'm standing next to here. This uh, plate up here at the top is where this bearing will sit, but for our purposes of our dem demonstration, we'll keep it down here. Um, now, I'm going to go ahead and drop the top bearing down onto the bottom bearing. Our pit bull loves this because it bounces so good. If he sees this thing going, he'll come over and try to bite it. But that's, this is our bearing set. And as you can see, <laughs> you can see it's quite, it's quite strong. And in this case, it's, uh, it's got some extra uh, space on the top bearing. Uh, so it kind of wob it wagon wheels a little bit when it's going around a, a central rod. But you can see there's a lot of space there. And even, even trying to compress it as much as I can, I'm not a small guy, I can't get it within about a, a half an inch. Um, there's a logarithmic progression of uh, force as the magnets get closer. And you can see our, our, our wind energy manager, Jack, has come over to investigate. Huh? You're going to bite that or you're going to give me the ring? He's going to give me the ring. He's very, uh, he's very attached to that ring. But uh, that's our maglev, uh, our maglev bearings for this piece, um, and uh, we'll put those on in a little bit. Thanks for watching.